welcome back to Die Wolf Wargaming. This is another hobby update, and today I'm showing off some Rune Wars elves that I've painted up to use as a Elfmark army. This is a Forest Shambler, but as you can see from the base, I wanted it to be a more winter theme, um, like they're up in the frozen waste sort of thing, and that's why I think it suits it quite a bit better because there's no foliage or you know, um, leaves or anything on him and there's mushrooms but I'm pretty sure mushrooms can grow basically anywhere given the right circumstances so this is um, the tree itself was painted black and then dry brushed brown and then dry brushed with a grey so you can still see bits and pieces of the um, grey uh, sorry the brown under the grey, zooming in a bit, <clears throat> and then all I did was paint the mushrooms, these ones here on the edge here were painted with a yellow ochre colour then dry brushed with a white, all the leaves I've painted, so there are a couple of leaves sorry my mistake earlier, but there are a couple of leaves but nothing that looks like it's alive, it's like in flat patches across the miniature, and the leaves were painted with like a um, rusty brown colour and then dry brushed with a bit of an orange to make it look like the leaves you typically see in autumn all over the floor um, these mushrooms here the red ones the painted white and then dry brushed with red and then dry brushed with a lighter red um, just to give it a, a nice look I was considering putting white spots on it but I didn't want to go too over the top with it and the basin is a brown scatter flock made from sawdust with uh, my snow techs on and that's lasted a good eight months now my snow tech, so I'm pretty impressed with that um, anyway um, the scatter flock's really nice it's got browns and blacks in it and the snow techs is lovely I've uh, put on some powdered snow anyway in areas where it's more slushy or just like fresh snow and I popped on a little blue bush as well because um, it adds a bit of extra to the figure and if I can try and get it to show inside of there I painted it a really light blue and I put a spiral made in white all the way around there it is I didn't know really how to paint it at first, the inside, but um, that's how I finally ended up finishing with it. And I thought it made it look good. Um, a bit different to how the guys who do Rune Wars paint the elves, because obviously they're wood elves. And my elves are totally different, and there's a story behind them as well. I'm about to show you some of the elves I've done. So I'll just take off the Shambhala. And these guys. Again, all the wood's been done grey like the tree. And there we go. These guys were inspired after watching some Enterprise one night, and it was my dad's idea to um, do it. Really cold, harsh looking figures. There we go. The only real warm colour that's on there are used for the feathers on the uh, arrows but they're inspired by the Andorians on Star Trek Enterprise and I think that they look good and a nice alternative refreshing not to have uh, just painted them with say elf skin from the army painter I washed on troglodyte blue for the flesh and then dry brushed it later with a really light ivory colour and all of the armour was pretty much washed on and then uh, later on everything got done with like a bluey wash that I mixed up with a bit of paint and water and it was just to make them look cold, a bit fierce, menacing uh, like they really are out in the wastes a um, bit of a debate about the hair because on Enterprise sometimes the Andorians have like a light blondy hair and sometimes in other lights it's like pure white so I settled on white for them and these were all done with Strong Tone from Armour Painter which is different to how I'm 
doing a lot of stuff where he was my brown wash. But I didn't want anything too harsh because I'd put the wash of the blue over. And they've been based exactly the same as the other guy. They've got um, the brown scatter flock and then the snow techs over the top. These guys have got a couple of little rocks here and there which have uh, dotted blue over. So I think they look pretty damn good myself. Um, I'll get one and uh, so we can take a bit of a better look at it. So there's this guy here, assuming edge focus. There we go. So there is a lot of detail on the Rune Wars figures, and that goes for pretty much any race that you have. Um, I think Rune Wars is discontinued, but um, focus it again. Um, there was the men, and I've got them, they're really nice figures, really, really nice. Uh, there's the elves. I just struggled to get some of the elf um, kits because I think you can only get them from America now. I'm not too sure, but um, if you can get your hands on them, I highly recommend it. They've got their own version, like Chaos, which is all demons and stuff, and they look fantastic. They've got bones jutting out of them and all sorts. They look absolutely incredible. And the undead are a real favourite of mine. I can't think of any other undead figures that I like more than them. For, uh, the Rune Wars Undead, they look like the Undead Head of Army of Darkness, and I think they look fantastic, to be honest. And these are some of my favourite elf figures out there as well. So, even if you just buy this stuff, the box sets to use as uh, just to uh, use the miniatures out of them, a bit like what I'm doing, uh, I think it's well worth it. These miniatures, I'm uh, using them for Oathmark and any other skirmish games. I'm going to leave them on the basis. Um, yeah, as I say, they're, they're fine miniatures. They're lovely, in my opinion. Lots of detail, lots of uh, intrigue going on on the men. And with a bit of a good basing, it just tops it all off. Paint job and base, done. I think they look terrific, the figures themselves. And I think... Uh, my little Andorian paint scheme don't look bad either. So that's it guys, just a quick little hobby update video. Just to show these off. I've worked on them before. I haven't really done much on them since because I've been taking on um, orders and, um, other, and uh, my own stuff as well. Uh, if you like the video, please leave us a like. It really helps us out and share it with anyone you think uh, would like it. We do have a Discord, and I keep forgetting to mention it. The link will be in the description. Um, you can also check out our great MDF products on diewolfwargaming.com and our painting service if you fancy having us paint your figures for you. And we also do a basing service. But typically, if you have your figures painted, then you know I'll discuss basing with you as well. So I'm a base because obviously I sell bases, so I can base them up on the MDF bases. Anyway, um, we're also on Instagram. I post on there quite regularly, new products, new videos, uh, random pictures of stuff I'm working on. Uh, so you can find us on there on Instagram at uh, Die Wolf Wargaming. And that's it, guys. Um, subscribe and join the pack. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.